We will not be satisfied until justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. These were the words of Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech. What's up, Kansas City? I'm Brianna Garlington. And I'm Derek Parker with Cascade Media Group. And today we will be discussing race relations in America. On August 28th, it will have been 50 years since the March on Washington. And since Dr. King spoke out for racial equality, social justice, and so much more, all on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. Although we've come so far within the last 50 years, we still have so far to go. A 2008 ABC News slash Washington Post poll of 1,125 U.S. Americans shows that uh, African Americans think the race relations are improving. When asked if they think race relations in the U.S. are excellent, good, not so good, or poor, they said that 47 were good, 36% were not so good, and 12% was poor. So we can see this nation is divided more now than ever. When asked if they think African Americans that live in their community experience racial discrimination, 51% said yes, while 47% said no. Breaking those numbers down further, 54% of African Americans said yes, while 49% of whites said no. Though 69% said they did not have any racial prejudice, 30% admitted to having hints of racism. This is not Dr. Martin Luther King's dream. We should never forget the sacrifices that those who've come before us have made. All that blood, sweat, and tears so that we, the future generations, can prosper. Civil rights activist Julianne Bond once said, and I quote, In 1963, we could not have imagined we'd be here 50 years later with a black president and a black attorney general. But that's just a measure of how far we've come. But we still march. Well, that's all we have for you today. You can check out more videos at whatsupkansascity.net or cascadesports.tv. I'm Brianna Garlington. And I'm Derek Parker. And remember, keep it frank. Think big, dream big, do big.